Irish film director John Carney is back with his newest movie, Begin Again. The film is receiving mixed reviews on a global stage, but here in Korea, it's enjoying a surprise success. For more, we are joined in the studio by movie critic Jason Bishervais. Thank you very much for coming into the studio, Jason. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. Okay, so what can you tell us about the movie Begin Again? Well, it's directed, like you say, by John uh, Carney, and it stars Mark Ruffalo and Kira Knightley. Um, and it follows uh, this kind of disgraced uh, business executive uh, who kind of teams up with this uh, musician mm -hmm. who's just kind of split up with her boyfriend, boyfriend who's also a musician, but he's gone on and done his own thing. He's, 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 he's doing very well. And uh, they team up to kind of produce an album. And uh, it's been very, very popular here in Korea. Um, surprisingly so. Um, it's generated around just over 2 million missions, so that's about just under 16 million US dollars. Now, putting that into context, it's made around about 30 million dollars um, outside of the US. So it's taken half that, over half that in Korea alone. And uh, it generated around about 16 million dollars in the US. Uh, so uh, it's, it's probably going to take over that tally to become the most, the most profitable region for the film. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, uh, it's creating a bit of buzz. And, uh, right, yeah. right. And it was released over a month ago and it's still going strong. It's still very popular yeah, in Korea. Yeah, it was second um, in the charts yesterday. Um, it's still going very strong indeed. Uh, the fact that it was released a month ago suggests that it's uh, word of mouth that's really uh, uh, kind of uh, fueling the success of of this film. I went to see this film on the weekend it was released and mm -hmm. uh, it was actually quite difficult to find a screen uh, that was screening it because Roaring Currents, otherwise known as Myongyang, was uh, doing so well, attracting big. millions. Mm -hmm. And so that was kind of dominating the screens. But there were a lot of people who wanted to see this film. And so it's been hanging around and uh, word of mouth has really, really kicked in. And uh, um, it's great to see a success story like this. I mean, OK, the reviews haven't been wonderful uh, ever since it premiered in Toronto uh, last year. Year, uh, but it's interesting that the film has done very, very well here. Mm -hmm. So, why do you think it is? Why is it popular in Korea compared to other countries? Well, I think there's a couple of factors. I think it's got a great uh, OST or soundtrack, and I think that's a, a big factor when it comes to the success of films here. We saw uh, with uh, Frozen earlier this year. I mean, there are other factors at play with the success of that film, but, but one, one factor was the soundtrack. I mean, you, you, you could hear Let It Go everywhere. You mm -hmm. go into a coffee shop, you hear it in the car, you just hear it everywhere. And, and the same as this could be said of this film too. I mean, I drive around and I hear uh, the music, and uh, you hear it in a coffee shop, and it creates conversations um, but secondly also it provides this kind of idyllic backdrop so it kind of romanticizes New York City it takes place in uh, New York City and uh, I think it's interesting that apparently a lot of the audience that's going to see this film uh, many of them are at 40s and males going to see this film um, so I think that it, they really respond well to, to this, this film which is ultimately it's a feel-good factor film you know you feel good watching it and um, yeah it's it's been very, very successful. Mm -hmm. So what can you say? I mean, Koreans love romance. They love New York. You have the mix and voila, right? Yeah, and what's, <laughs> what's also interesting is that About Time, uh, the working title film directed by Richard Curtis, uh, the British film. Oh, that was uh, released uh, late last year? Yeah, it was late last year. Mm -hmm. It was popular um, early this year as well. Um, it generated uh, three million admissions and it actually made more money in Korea than anywhere else. Mm -hmm. um, and I think one of the, reason, the reasons for that, again, is the soundtrack. It had a really, really great soundtrack and also it kind of romanticizes London. Mm -hmm. um, I, I live in London and I know London would be a great place but it kind of makes you want to go there it really right. wants to make you go there and also the countryside as well and again I think fueling that success was again an older demographic which is what we're seeing in Korea traditionally it's the younger audience goers are going to see films but we're also seeing many in their 30s 40s going to see films and uh, this was a success story as was um, other work in title films such as Love Actually as well which is actually re-released uh, last year and mm -hmm. actually did very well even though it was released a few right. years ago 
video. Uh, so uh, there's certainly, uh, these kind of films certainly seem to be very, very popular in Korea. Mm -hmm. And it makes you want to go watch the movie again. It, it kind of almost makes you feel like you can fall in love by just watching the film. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it creates this feeling. Right. And, uh, That's what people love. I, I think about it's those infectious. Movies. And um, yeah, okay, the film hasn't um, generated critical appraise. I mean, the same thing with About Time. It, it, it wasn't particularly well received, but audiences here that went to see it absolutely adored the film. The same mm -hmm. could be said of Love Actually, and I think Begin Again is, is, is another, another film that's uh, been very, very well received by, mm -hmm. by the audience. All right, so before wrapping up, let's move on to another item very quickly. So you wanted to talk about the Ole uh, International, or not International, but Smartphone, smartphone Film Yeah, film Smartphone festival. Film Festival. Now in its fourth year, um, it had its opening ceremony on Monday, mm -hmm. uh, the 15th of September, um, and uh, it's great to see a festival back in, it, back in its fourth year. Um, um, giving awards to uh, a range of, mov uh, of movie or filmmakers. And the great thing about this fi film festival, of course, is that you can make a movie with a smartphone. Right. And so you have uh, kids making movies, uh, you have uh, just students, you have older, older people too, uh, making films with their smartphones that you can edit on smartphones too. Mm -hmm. I and mean, it's, it's a great festival that allows pretty much anyone to enter. Traditional film festivals, of course, you have to have, a, a, generally you'd have to have a crew, um, you'd have to have a lot of equipment, money and, and so on and so forth. So it kind of breaks down those kind of barriers, which is, is, is great, great right. for the festival and great for the public too. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, I'd like to, I'd love to talk more about that, but unfortunately we are out of time. But thank you very much, Jason, for coming in today. Well, thank you for having me.